All right, question nine, it says, consider two sinusoidal sine waves traveling along a string modeled as, and you are given two expressions, one sinusoidal wave here, here, and a second sinusoidal wave here. And it asks, what is the height of the resultant wave formed by the interference of the two waves at the position? So I'm given a position, x equals one meters, at the time, t equals three seconds. Hmm. And if you look at the hint, um, you will look at, say, say, use the superposition principle. And oh, I think I pulled out this question just to emphasize how simple superposition principle is. Superposition principle simply says that uh, when you have a resultant wave, a combination of two different waves, that resultant wave is really just a simple sum of the two waves that are making up that resultant wave. No other complicated uh, expressions to go through, no complicated calculation. I think in the lectures, you've seen me derive standing waves and bit, but when you have a numerical question like this, you don't even need that. You can just plug in X and T into these, get a number, and just add those numbers and that'll be your answer. So, so that's it. Um, I, I just really wanted to emphasize the superposition principle. It's a grandiose name uh, and the name is grandiose because really the principle it's referring to is a very, very simple principle. Uh, you know, it's trying to compensate.